everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys have all had an amazing weekend. This weather is perfect. Absolutely perfect. The air quality is not perfect, but the um, weather is perfect. I hope you guys have all enjoyed your Sunday. As you are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. We are coming to you guys live from cool California. And if you are catching a replay, drop hashtag replay. Um, and also, if you're new, welcome. Welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. I am Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. Um, let's see, what am, I, what am I going at? New. <laughs> you can tell it's been a great day, and I'm like kind of a little bit zoned. Like I said, I absolutely love this weather. So if you guys um, are not following us, please make sure you are following us for all things keto. Touch my nose, three dots up at the top, and select follow and you can also just send us a friend request and share sharing is caring you guys somebody shared this out whenever you first saw us so please share it out so more people can get the benefit of easy healthy family meals a lot of you guys message all the time and say oh my my family loved this my husband loved it and it was so easy we love your guys easy recipes it doesn't get any easier this than this. This may be the easiest one yet. So, so. Um, make sure you guys share, and I'm going to hand it over to Mark, and I'm going to go share. Thanks, guys. We're just going to make a quick uh, hamburger casserole. Be sure you're uh, following or uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is one word. Uh, the T's are capital. We've got all of our recipes in there. Um, we're getting close to 3,000 subscribers now. Thank you all very much. We appreciate the support. Uh, we hope you're enjoying our uh, our recipes. We uh, we love doing this to help others move along in their keto journey. So um, this is a real simple um, casserole. I'm going to brown some hamburger. You can use ground turkey. You can use ground chicken, whatever you like for your meat. Um, and then we're going to put some vegetables in it, and some marinara sauce on it, and uh, put it in the oven for 40 minutes or so. Done. Real quick and easy. So I am just going to uh, brown up two pounds of hamburger. This, uh, this hamburger is a, uh, it's a higher fat. Um, of course with keto, we don't care what the fats are because we want mm -hmm. a high fat type uh, um, higher diet. Fat, yes. Yeah, so um, it's not a big deal. We will drain off the excess fat as uh, as we get this cooked. We're just gonna get it cooked so that it's done. And then we'll, uh, we're not even gonna cook the vegetables. Um, we're just gonna, I've chopped up um, a small uh, white onion in large chunks. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put the uh, hamburger into a casserole dish. Just put the onions, put the peppers. I've got a, a red and a yellow pepper I'm gonna cut up. Um, and uh, some green beans. I've snapped some, some fresh green bean, beans in half so that they're a bite size uh, length. So, and then some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, some marinara sauce, and done. It's Put a it one pot yeah. meal too, you guys. You're gonna, your family's gonna get vegetables and they aren't even gonna know that they're getting yeah. vegetables. Um, like I said, it's gonna be an easy one. As you guys are coming on, thank you so much for saying hello. Hey, Teresa, hey, Sandy, hey, Lisa. We really appreciate you guys jumping on. And make sure that if you share it out, you drop share it in the comments. So we can, um, thank you for sharing. I'll give yes. you a full name shout out if I catch it on the screen. Sometimes things go so fast on the screen, I can't see it. Um, I hope you guys, like I said, are having a great weekend too. I don't know where you all are from, but or where your weather is right now, but it is like, it feels like fall. It feels like fall here. It's, and, uh, it barely got to 80 degrees today. Not gonna lie, I love it. I love the season. I love watching all the She flowers. likes the colder weather. Yeah. I like to be in shorts and a sweatshirt. I'm kind of crazy that way. Thank you, Rose Padani, for sharing. We really appreciate it. Hey, James. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Chuck. Thank you guys for jumping on. Hey, Dana. So, I will, not that this needs much of a recipe, you guys, but I will post the recipe link up at the top to where you can go over and you can print it out. But while you're there, you can find a lot of other keto recipes that we have that are over there that you can just print out. And like Mark said, make sure you go over and find us on YouTube. Yes. Um, it's Team Terry Keto. 
both T's are capitalized. Um, if you want, you can also just drop YouTube in the comments. If you're not, we can send you the link. Once you get over there, you guys, if you just need ideas like to do meal prep for the week, you can go on Sunday, go over there and go breakfast and pick something from breakfast. You can do yeah. lunch, pick something for um, lunch. We have it all in there for you guys. And they're yeah. all different ideas. We just share ours. So we've got our lives from doing it live. Yeah. Yes. And see how it's cooked and we've got our recipe on there so you know what you can what you need to get at the store so that you can uh, make it plan for the week mandy wagner wait a second mindy wagner i think it was yes mindy wagner thank you very much for sharing we appreciate you and speaking of meal prep you guys if you are not in our keto group there's a lot of meal prep that's over there, and some of it, it's like, we. there's one that's like a family of four meal prep for under $100, and you can print out the whole recipe or the whole list to go shopping and stuff. So if you are not in our group, drop group in the comments, and we'll get you added in there. Or if you are and you haven't seen that amazing meal prep thing yet, make sure you drop a meal prep in the comments, and we'll get that to you because it's pretty cool. You can just go and print out the recipe, family of four for under $100 for a week. Um, that's the whole idea of these is not to have to know that you can do keto or low carb and not have to cook separate meals for your family because yes. they're going to love it. The kids, the kids will, will even love, love this. Yeah, the kids will eat it too. So. Thank you, Julia Rhodes, for sharing. And I'm sorry, I didn't want to butcher um, the second name. Cesark? Cesarka, I think. I almost got that. Hey, sweet girl, thank you for jumping on. <laughs> yes, okay. Dana, that is from Pamper Chef, one of our wonderful viewers. One of our viewers sent this to us, yes. Just absolutely. Denise Fisher, I still love her every time because Mark yep. just loves using it. I use it all the time. Okay, so. I've, uh, I've got a 9 by 13 casserole dish. I'm just, I've uh, sprayed it with some avocado oil. I'm just gonna lay this hamburger down in the bottom of it and spread it out. And then uh, we're just gonna throw some vegetables on here and we'll be ready to go. And like Mark said, we did two pounds of hamburger. Um, yeah. You can do turkey, you could do sausage, you could do whatever you, yes. I mean, you could probably, I don't this know. This would be, I think this would be really good with a half hamburger, half um, Italian sausage or, or some kind of, uh, a ground sausage would be really good. Yeah, I think it would too. Okay, so I've just got it uh, laid out there a little bit. Now I'm gonna take an onion that I've already chopped, and this has just been chopped in large, uh, large pieces, and I'm just gonna put that in there and spread it around, and then I'm gonna cut up a couple of um, Yes, have I've got a couple of uh, peppers. Um, you can use any of the peppers you like. If you like the green and red ones, that's fine. Um, we like the uh, the orange and the yellow ones. Uh, just they're just a little bit sweeter. And I'm just cutting these up in large pieces. Um, I've already uh, I've already cut them apart and uh, taken the seeds out of them, and then just spread it in there. Gives it a little color. We don't really. Yeah. I don't like the green ones, but if you do, but see for the color you've got the green. But if you do, yeah. you can use those. Yeah. But for the color, you got green beans. I'm mean, telling you guys, you're even get your vegetables in in this. Yeah. It's amazing. I and see all I've, the meal prep comments, you guys. I will get you the meal prep. Yep. Yeah. And then I've got fresh green beans. Just whoop. <laughs> He's got one. They're still so alive. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm just going to spread those out some. And actually got a little bit extra <clears throat> and then I've got some uh, Rayo's homestyle um, marinara sauce this is a uh, an Italian sausage and mushroom sauce and then I'm just gonna lay that all over the whole dish we're gonna use the whole can or the whole jar Nelly Yankee and <laughs> Susie oh my gosh see I can't remember for that long Thank you, guys. And Susie Castle, Sue Castle, thank you very much for sharing, you guys. We really appreciate it. And the recipe I will post up at the top. And Sharon Quintan, Quintan thank you very much for sharing. Okay, I've got that all spread out. And I've got uh, probably two cups of mozzarella cheese. We're just going to layer that on top. And then we're going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes, making sure that you're... Uh, your cheese is well 
uh, melted. Okay, onion. Then when it comes out, you want to put, uh, we've got uh, fresh uh, gray, um, shredded uh, Parmesan cheese that we're going to put on top of this. So. And we go a little bit heavier with the vegetables. If you want to go lighter, you can, but, um, and do That's more meat. Good. However, it's very versatile. Like I said, it's easy. Um, and this'll, this'll give us dinners for the entire week. Yes. With, oh, ah, what? I forgot to put my spices on it. Oh, never mind. Salt, pepper. We're going to try this again. Oh, you're going to add it. Yeah. I got just, uh, just about a teaspoon of salt and pepper here. I don't like a lot of salt and pepper on my food. I figure if you want salt and pepper, you can do it afterwards. And then I've got a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna throw that over the top. That should be interesting in the cheese. <laughs> but that's all right, it'll work. Okay, let's try this again. Let's throw that in there. And we'll set the timer for 30 minutes. And it'll probably, probably cook the full 40 um, in order to get the uh, green beans nice and, uh, nice and soft. And well cooked. The onions and even the, the onions, peppers yeah, too. Yeah, the peppers and everything. So looks delicious. There you go. See, I mean, just something different, you guys, to give you guys different ideas to throw things so it's not always the same, mm -hmm. and your whole family will love it. You've got your vegetables in there, and your. Um, if you'd like it spicy, you could throw some uh, pepper flakes in there, or you could you know creative. top it with yeah, top it with some uh, chili powder or, or cayenne pepper, whatever. Yeah, exactly. However, you like it to oh. to your taste. It's a very See? very versatile. Uh, Somebody said uh, parsley dish. on top. Sure, I bet that would be really good too. Yeah. So however you guys want. So we will, um, I will post the link to where you can go to the recipe and see how we did it. Um, message us. Let us know what edits you make. And we also yes. appreciate your guys' messages that whenever you say you make your keto food for your husband or your family and they absolutely love it because it's one of these recipes that they don't even know they they're don't even healthy. Know. Yeah. So, Everything tastes just wonderful. <laughs> exactly. If you guys got value out of this, can you please write value in the comments, smash that love button and the share, and make sure that you are following us. So that way you're notified whenever we come on here live. Um, we try to come on here once a week and yep. just share one of our meals that we are going to have for the week of it. And yes, this is meal prep. Yep. Aren't the peppers and onions and greens beans carbs? Like I said, it's low carb. Lazy keto. You're you're gonna whatever. get in a serving. You're gonna get maybe a, a How, fifth or mm -hmm. a sixth of what all of that of is a gonna pepper be. and an onion. So yeah, your your carbs low. are still very low. Very low. So um, we hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your weekend. We love and appreciate all of you. Thanks for spending some time mm -hmm. with us. Bye guys.